Well, <clears throat> it's the same day it was a year ago, same time. It's August 10th. The scripture reading is Jeremiah 10 through 13. And I've entitled this devotion, The Impossibility of God's Call. Jeremiah 13, 23 through 27 are our focus. Can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spots? Neither can you do good who are accustomed to doing evil. I'll scatter you like chaff driven by the desert wind. This is your lot, the portion I've decreed for you, declares the Lord, because you've forgotten me and trusted in false gods. I'll pull up your skirts over your face and that your shame may be seen. Your adulteries and lustful names, your shameless prostitution. I've seen your detestable acts on the hills and in the fields. Woe to you, O Jerusalem. How long will you continue to be unclean? Do you understand the truth of this yet? Have you needed help doing what you know is right? You know you should love God with all your heart, soul, and mind. This is true. But when you attempt such things, you find it's not within you to do what you know to be right and good. God's word tells us as much. We're powerless to change our actions, just as the Ethiopian can't change the color of his skin or the leopard his spots. If this is the case, what hope do we have? God commands us to do what he knows our sinful nature cannot. Is God playing games with us or is there something more to the, to the story? God allows us to see the complete ruin of our state before him. We have nothing to bring to the table but a thoroughly corrupt, sinful flesh that will fight against God at every turn. So where's our hope in this? It's in the passage that Paul writes in 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 15 through 16. Here's a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the worst. But for that reason, I was shown mercy so that in me, the worst of sinners, Christ Jesus might display his unlimited patience as an example for those who would believe on him and receive eternal life. Do you see the depth of your own depravity? Do you know by experience you're powerless to obey even the most straightforward of the commands? Then there's hope for you. Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners. Listen closely. Who was it that penned these words? It was the Apostle Paul, the Pharisee of Pharisees, the Jew of all Jews, the one who command, followed all the commandments to a T. Our hope comes when we see that we are, among all men, the most miserable. When that truth enters our soul, then and only then will we be able to experience the saving power of the Lord Jesus. Jeremiah asked a question that left us hopeless. Can an Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spots? The answer is no, not possible. Now the question is, can you change your life when you're accustomed to doing evil with every breath? The answer is the same. No, not possible. So where then is your hope? Answer, it's not in yourself, but in the one who does the saving, Jesus Christ. Take a moment to reconnect with this truth. You're powerless to save yourself, so stop trying and start trusting in the one who says he can and will. Father, I find in myself no power to change, repent, or confess. I'm wholly dependent on you and your saving power. Holy Spirit, I yield my life to you to change me and make me like Jesus. I yield to you in your way. Amen.